Meghan Markle's triumphant return to the red carpet, and Prince Harry's solo charm offensive at global events have been making headlines. However, a source has revealed that the Duchess of Sussex is feeling the strain of their new dynamic. The couple hasn't been seen together in public for over a month as 40-year-old Harry has traveled across three continents without his wife of six years, or their two children by his side. While rumors of them living almost separate lives will be something they are no doubt used to by now, a source says the recent week's pressure is starting to affect Meghan. She has really felt the strain in recent weeks, and with all the speculation surrounding her and Harry and their marriage, they claimed. They haven't done themselves any favors by doing so many separate events but this is what they have decided to do, as it works best for them at the moment as a couple and they both feel they can shine at events that are close to their hearts. But it does upset her that, while Harry was getting praised for all of his appearances, she is getting criticized for what she says, what she wears etc., and it brings back hurtful memories of when she was a royal. Meghan's glamorous walk onto the red carpet at a Los Angeles Children's Hospital gala last month, dressed in a fiery red low-cut gown with her tousled hair hanging loose, appeared to send a very clear message, the Hollywood star was back. A few days on, the Duchess stunned again with her poise, donning chic white trousers and a refined blue button shirt, as she honored International Day of the Girl Child in Greater Santa Barbara. Nevertheless, when a co-founder of the non-profit mentioned to an American publication that Meghan had talked about being one of the most bullied people in the world, it inadvertently reignited an old controversy surrounding the Duchess and accusations of bullying. Post-publication, an insider told the New York Post that Meghan had merely spoken of her online bullying experiences and never claimed to be the most bullied person. One individual close to the erstwhile suit star confided that these recent events have made her feel unfairly targeted. She felt very bullied and scrutinized back when she was a working royal, and she feels the bullying is returning, they imparted. According to the confidant, Meghan seeks public empathy for the challenges she's faced and finds the constant conjecture around her marriage and a supposed rift with Harry overwhelming at times. She wants people to remember how tough she has had it and is trying to get the public back on side. And it's hard to hear the constant speculation about her marriage and her and Harry living separate lives, because as much as she tries to ignore it, sometimes it gets the better of her. In contrast to Harry's harsh view of the UK media, the American press have been more lenient, until a bombshell report from The Hollywood Reporter disclosed significant departures from the Sussex's team, including their chief of staff and global press secretary. The piece triggered debate with its portrayal that Meghan suffered noisy tantrums and sent incensed emails in the wee hours, including claims from sources that staff were terrified by her and dubbed her Duchess difficult. Yet Meghan has firmly rebutted any allegations of bullying, or being an onerous employer. A confidant shared that Meghan is more resolute than ever in shielding herself and Harry from negativity, especially for their children Archie and Lilibet's well-being, and has pledged to put her children's happiness first, frequently opting not to join Harry on trips to prevent being away from them for long periods. They outlined Meghan's resolve, she is very strong, both by herself and with Harry, and she refuses to be beaten, as she wants to make sure the children aren't affected by anything that goes on outside the home. The happiness of Archie and Lily will always be her number one priority and she will always put them first, which is why she doesn't always go away with Harry, as she hates leaving them for long periods of time.